afternoon, friends. Um, I'm here today to share with you guys our meal prep and a clean with me kitchen video. Um, I have written down all of our recipes. I am like an old fashioned pen and paper kind of girl. Um, I do share, I do transfer them onto the computer or like um, a Canva pre-made meal plan and I do share that on my blog a lot of times just for different meal ideas if you're looking for some but um, I went through and the first thing I always do is I look at our calendar to see what we have going on on what nights so I kind of know how much time I have and how much prep and that kind of stuff I want to do so I went through and I looked um, saw we have dinner with friends on one night we're going to be at the parks a couple nights and that's always makes for late night so I want super, super simple food um, and just kind of go through that way. That's how I start with my meal planning is looking at the calendar, seeing what time we've got going on, what we've got going on and what nights we need, need meals and how fast and that kind of stuff. Um, normally on one of the nights on Friday nights, I'm doing baked potato soup. Um, if we had room in our fridge, I would actually cook and chop up the potatoes ahead of time and the onions for that. And then like brown the meat, but because we are lacking room in our fridge, I am not going to prep the potato soup, but I also know that we are going to be home that day all day. Um, we have some work happening on the house, so I know we have to be around. So I will have time to prep that that day. Um, and that's why I chose to do it on that day was because I knew those things were happening. Um, we did a Costco and Trader Joe's run on Sunday. I'm like, what day was it? I think it was Sunday. I don't know. This week we did a Costco and Trader Joe's run. So our fridge is very very full since we hit up both of them so there's just not extra room at this moment so the potatoes and onions can stay out of the fridge as long as I don't prep them so that's kind of why I chose to do that um, otherwise like I said normally I would but things like shredding the cheese chopping the veggies making some quick grab sandwiches and snacks I will get all of that stuff done as well as make or prep out what I need to do a lot of my dinners don't require a lot of prepping and I do that on purpose because I don't have a ton of time to even prep stuff. It makes a huge difference even just to have it written down and knowing what I'm doing. Um, and instead of doing something like those dinner boxes, I will do, I have like paninis um, and salads, which, you know, I just bought the ciabatta bread and then I will grill them up on our panini press. It takes no time at all. And then I buy the pre-made salads and I just mix those up while they're grilling. So it's super quick, super easy, and it doesn't require any kind of prep work. Um, Chinese chicken and fried rice, same idea. I buy the pre-made Chinese chicken from Costco or Trader Joe's, depending if what we're feeling. The Kung Pao from Trader Joe's is amazing. Um, we did try a new one. It's called Korean Crispy Chicken, this time from Costco. Um, so that will be interesting to see how that tastes. And then I get the Japanese style fried rice with the vegetables and chicken in it from Costco, and it's absolutely delicious. Um, and so again, those are super quick and easy. I throw those in the air fryer and then I start making the fried rice on the stove. So again, it's super easy, super quick, but I know we're going to be coming back from the parks. We're going to be tired. And it's also a great one because like if we're super hungry, I'll add two bags. I'll do more rice or you know what I mean? I can like kind of adjust it if we had a snack or if we had a little bit bigger, but you know, depending on how we're feeling. So that's a really good one for after parks. Um, on one of the days on Thursday, we're going to be home again for some housework being done. And so I'm doing turkey burgers because then I know I'll be home and I can go ahead and like get the grill fired up and do them that way. Um, on Friday is the baked potato soup. Saturday, we're doing grilled cheese and tomato soup. Again, a super simple one. Um, we get the cheese from Costco. I get the sourdough bread from Trader Joe's. Um, the tomato soup we get from Costco, the big cartons of it. So delicious. And then we'll add some sour cream, some Parmesan, um, and just kind of spice it up a little bit. And that's, again, a super quick one that I can throw the grilled cheese on the panini press grill and then be cooking the tomato soup on the stove. Um, and then Sunday is going to be homemade pizza. I'll make the dough that day, but I will shred and prep all the cheese for that because I just buy the block of cheese from Costco. So I will shred all of that today in my meal prep. So there's not a lot of prepping but just having it written down and knowing I've got everything I need here, I don't have to think about it, even that makes a big difference. So sometimes meal prep doesn't have to be a ton of prep work. It can be just having it down on paper it makes a huge difference and knowing it's there in the freezer and quick and easy to go. So when you're tired and you're trying to think, what do I have at home, what can I make? I don't know what I have at home, let's just grab something. That doesn't happen because you have it written down. So 
those are a couple of my tips just to start out with this meal prep video, but I'm gonna flip the camera and start prepping and cleaning this kitchen. Falling through the night. So I'm starting out here unloading the dishwasher. Normally my daughter does this, but she was still asleep, so I um, did it so I could get started with the meal prep and cleaning. I had the automatic vacuum also going and it kept running me over and a couple times it hit the tripod so you'll see the camera shake. Um, we also had my great buddy here have it keeping me company but it was a little bit chaotic with, with all of that going but we got it done. You can live like a fairy Galaxies and midnight roadways, endless where you are. Here among the stars, all right. So here I am mixing up some of the more wax dishwasher powder in some hot water. They don't necessarily have a specific cleanser, like multi-use cleanser, but a lot of their products, like the dishwasher, laundry powder, their cleansing enzymes can be mixed with some water to make a cleanser. So I just used that for a little extra cleaning power, sprayed it with the Norwax dish cloth, and wiped down all of our calendars. I like to wipe everything down before I get started too, just because I figure dog hair and dander is like always floating around in the air, so I like to give it a good clean. And then I am cleaning our sinks with the Norwax cleaning paste. I love this cleaning paste. It works so great on my stainless steel sinks. But I am wondering, do you guys like having the two double sinks or do you guys prefer one big sink let me know in the comments below I really miss my single big huge sink having two small sinks really drives me crazy um, but I'm just curious what are other people's opinions on it singles or doubles Wiping down all of the cabinets. Sunlight morning, early breeze. Lovers day alive. Whispering our names inside this first light hideaway. A red September silver dawn. Perfect photograph, quiet song. Resting in each other's arms. With galaxies of fallen stars Here I'm just putting Hearts beat in unison Eyes wide open Two like one Love won't lead us apart We've come too far Right now, the sun is ours. Let the tides come and go. Every moment, an afterglow. I'm forever by your side
inside Your beauty leaves me mystified Breathing in the quiet air Untold stories still to share You're the flame inside my heart Love like two eternal sparks Hearts beat in unison Eyes wide open Two like one Love won't lead us apart We've come too far And right now the sun is ours What I'm doing now is prepping the zucchini that will go with our turkey burgers. I like to make them into long spears and then I use some olive oil and some seasonings from Trader Joe's, like garlic powder, 21 season, some salt, pepper, um, and I just throw them in a Ziploc bag and coat them with that. And then when it's time to barbecue, they've basically been marinating in that delicious like seasoning and I just throw them on the grill and soften them up on the grill along with our turkey burgers. So that's all prepped and ready for that meal. Have breakfast with your favorite cup of tea And I'll spend my mornings wishing That I could form the words to make you see I'll never be the same Because of you I'm changed for the better And I just can't explain What it is you've done to me You walk me down the page Right up to my driver's door. I roll my window down. Simply was cutting up the carrots and the peppers for snacking or for grilling. Um, I might use the peppers when we grill, just not sure yet, but I just left them this way since I wasn't sure, and we can use them for dipping in uh, or for snacking on. And then I also cut up some lemons so we could add them to our water because we love to have some fresh lemons in our water, and it's so good for you too. So. Just got all of that stuff ready sure and put all nicely in the veggie drawer. I actually brought the veggie drawer out so I could just organize it nicely and then put the whole veggie drawer back into the fridge when I was done. For the better, and I just can't explain what you've done to me. I'll never be the same. I just can't explain what it is you've done to me mm, To me I'll never be the same The original house we lived in in California was only 900 square feet. It was a two bedroom home. Um, absolutely loved it, but it was very small and the kitchen was very small. So one thing I've always been really good about is cleaning up as I go and I still do that. Even when I had my big kitchen in Arizona, I always made a point of cleaning up as I went. Just It just makes it so much more simple. So. Here I'm just cleaning up after doing all the fruits and veggies and then I will start making more meal preps with the cheese grating and making the sandwiches for my son. 
Just making the little snack sandwiches. These are made with the Hawaiian rolls, so they're really small. They're great for um, kids just because they can grab one or two or depending how hungry they are. We also love taking these to the beach or to the lake or something like that because they're really great little grab and go kind of sandwiches. Um, I just go ahead and put butter on them to keep the moisture out. I add some uh, Havarti cheese and some turkey and that way they're just super simple. My daughter loves to add tomatoes. You can add mustard or whatever at the time that you're eating them, but keeping them this way is really quick and convenient. They just go back in the bag and as the kids are hungry, they can just reach in and grab one or two um, and have a nice little easy snack or lunch. Than anyone I know. You ended up falling for me, and to this day I don't know how. I think about it constantly. I promise I won't let you down. When I asked, you told me yes To be in mine forevermore All I can offer is my best Through the good and bad, through rich and poor Oh, you look beautiful I am just shredding the cheese for our pizzas that we will have later in the week. Um, I will be making barbecue chicken pizzas, so I'm shredding the cheese and the mozzarella getting it all ready. And on Thursday when we have our turkey burgers, I will actually grill up a couple chicken breasts as well um, for that. And that way they will be used on the pizza in a couple days. So I don't want to take them out and prep them yet because I didn't want them sitting in the fridge. And since it's towards the end of the week, I wanted to wait on bringing them out. But I'm getting that all ready. Um, and while I was doing that, I decided to make us a mozzarella, tomato, and basil salad. Saw you walking by today With the sunset in your eyes I couldn't find the strength to say What was running through my mind You couldn't help but notice me Staring with that awkward smile from the other side of Thompson Street I felt love for a little while Cause you looked beautiful In the sunset glow In that sunset glow You looked more beautiful Than anyone I know Than anyone I know Ended up falling for me And to this day I don't know how I think about it constantly I promise I won't let you down When I asked you told me yes here I am just slicing up some tomatoes to put on top of the mozzarella cheese. I went out to my garden and grabbed some fresh basil, I grabbed some olive oil and vinegar and salt and pepper, and I just drizzle that on top of the tomato basil and mozzarella. And then I sliced up some French bread to just dip in the extra olive oil and vinegar. It is such a delicious um, snack and it's just something that we really enjoy. So. Uh, when I was cutting the mozzarella cheese, it just looked too good to not make one. So I <laughs> went ahead and made that for all of us to go ahead and have a little snack. You look beautiful. That white dress on with 
在快绝上。You look more beautiful than anyone I know. You look beautiful. All right, we are all done with meal prep and cleaning. Um, let me show you. So kitchen is all clean, still working on that bowl of blueberries, but otherwise the counters, everything are all cleaned off after prepping. Um, if you notice, I always wipe the counters down at the beginning and at the end. Um, I just like to have a clean surface to start with. Got everything, got the stove all cleaned up, um, sink, all of this all cleaned up. Uh, oh, I forgot to put this back. Is it done drying it is so now we got it cleaned <laughs> I just let them dry and then I go ahead and put them back in there when they're dry um, um our kitchen or our sorry our fridge I'm discombobulated here <laughs> we got our fridge all clean and organized it is stuffed like I said we went to Costco so we've got Costco and Trader Joe's goodies all in here um we have some chili that we're going to finish off tonight and then that really delicious french bread that i made that snack out of we've got our little mini sandwiches that are quick grabs for the kids got the cheese ready for pizza on one of the nights um lots of eggs <laughs> and bread because again we went to costco so we stocked up on those things and then we got our veggie drawer all ready with all the fruits and veggies ready for the kids to just snack as they want them and then all of our vegetables and salads all down here. And in here we just have like all of our cheeses and stuff. And I don't know why I showed you that one. But um, try to kind of keep it organized. Like I said, it's pretty full right now because of just coming back from Trader Joe's and Costco. All of the major prep work is done. Um, I got those potatoes washed. So all I have to do is chop them up and throw them in the Instapot and they just cook up really quick. And then once they're kind of softened up and cooked up, I add all the broth and all the rest of the stuff. So, and I'll saute the onions and everything right in the Instapot. So, got all of that done. Um, I feel like made a big dent in making sure that this week we aren't eating out more than we should. We, I know we have a busy week. We are meeting friends Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday at the parks. We have some friends coming in town from Can Kansas and then a local friend, she wanted to go with us to go see the candlelight procession. So we are going to be at the parks, I know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, um, and to avoid eating there um, more than we need to. Or we always love to have just like a snack or a coffee or something, but we try to avoid doing like a big meal there just because that's where, you know, it ends up costing more. So um, got all of those meals ready so we can just come home and eat after that. And then... Um, the rest of the days, like I said, we're going to be around the house, so it shouldn't be too bad. But even just having those little sandwiches in there for my son and having the veggies and everything cut up makes it just so much easier. So that was the meal prep and kitchen clean for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Um, and let me know what, what you guys like to see content wise. I want to know, are you guys enjoying these cleaning meal prep videos? Are you guys enjoying the grocery hauls? Are you enjoying learning more about our health and wellness? Let me know in the comments below um, or the Disney videos, what your favorite videos are, because I really am trying to like I know a lot of times we have vid like channels that specify on one specific thing, but really those are the three things in my life that mean a lot. Um, my family and spending time at Disney is a big one. Keeping our house clean and meal and cooking healthy is a big one. And then just healthy living is a big one for me too. So I really try to share those things with you guys and make this channel a channel that is beneficial to you guys where you guys are able to learn and be entertained and have fun too. So I hope you guys are in feeling that way. And like I said, if you are, give it a big thumbs up. And we'll see you guys all again real soon. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Bye for now.